things an American should never say to a Brit. Are you Australian? Really? Enough said. I can do the best British accent. Oh no, here we go again. Are you from London? Yes, that is always the best answer because if you try and describe where you are, they will have not have heard of it and it will take you a long, long, long time. Cheers, mate. Yes, like we've never heard that one before. <laughs> Do you live in a castle? Oh yes, and I have lots of servants and a butler. Oh my god, I could listen to you talk all day. In fact, my husband said that. Just the once. He regretted it instantly. Why are you always so polite? Well, we're not really. We just bottle it all up. We're as rude as anyone else, but we're just very passive aggressive. More about that in a future video. Stay tuned. You drink in Britain, but you do it in a classy way, right? I'll leave Lucy to bat that one. Not at all, no. What is with this weather? Please do not comment on the weather. Four hours will have passed before you realize that us Brits really love talking about the weather. We really do. <laughs> My great, great, great grandmother was British. Oh, fascinating. Like we're interested. Actually, I am. She I'm, is. I'm probably the only exception, but I'm so interested. I'll be bombard you with all these questions and then I'll ask, oh, which part of England was she from? And you will say, not sure, somewhere like London. <laughs> Bonus one. Do not call the whole of the UK England. No, you'll upset the Scots, the Welsh and the Northern Irish. So what can I say to the Brits, I hear you ask? I love your accent. We hear it all the time, but it's so endearing and uh, so sweet. And yes, we've got lots of different regional accents, but it's always nice to be complimented and um, it's very sweet of you. So thank you. Thank you. Before we say cheerio, can we ask you to check out our friend Jared, Talkie Bear 58 who is doing a wonderful charity event on his channel right now. It really is inspiring. A link is in the description below.